Alex, congratulations on the win. Thank you. That looked, uh, absol- I mean, I don't want to say the word perfect, but <laughs> does it get any better than that, my man? Uh, what? That looked like that performance was almost perfect, or we could say it was. You don't look hurt at all. You look dominant. You got the better of the striking, the ground. Does it get any better than that for you? Uh, you know, this is just a 5% of our performance. All right. Because my coach make a lot of on, on training uh, to make me stronger, faster, and uh, more stronger mentality. And this is the, give the big results. And you mentioned stronger mentality. When you go into the fight as a 20 to one favorite and you're expected to win and you're expected to dominate, how are you able to separate those expectations from what you want to do in the cage? You know, uh, I don't look uh, on these uh, moments. I every time uh, make focus on my opponent. I make focus on my skills. And I come in the cage and do my work. Sure, and that looked uh, fantastic. Was there anything specific that you were training in camp that you wanted to do in this fight that you maybe did not get to do because of the change of opponent? Uh, yes, we have uh, make more uh, striking and the kicks uh, because I have uh, prepared uh, for Bowser. Uh, but... Uh, our opponent uh, was changed, and I want to uh, say thank you very much for Chase for accepting this uh, um, this fight because he, for this uh, quick period, uh, came to the um, change um, the Bowser, and uh, normally we have every time. Uh, 60, 65 percent of our uh, game plan on uh, grappling and uh, jiu-jitsu and wrestling. It's we we have prepared for this and this work. <laughs> Excellent and congratulations on your brown belt. Thank you. I see that around you. Very well done. How has it been to be able to integrate everything together? Your wrestling, boxing, grappling, just the whole package in itself. Yeah, this is very fun because uh, you can. Uh, if you feel that you lose in uh, uh, in the striking, you can change on the wrestling. Uh, you you can grab your opponent, take him down, make some submissions or make uh, grounded pound. And this is a very interesting game, really. Excellent. And last for me, what are the names that you're looking for? What who do you need to fight to get into the top fifteen, top ten? Keep working your way. Uh, for Top 15 for me very interesting is Augusto Sakai because he have very interesting interesting style and striking. And uh, for me, this will be a very good challenge. Look forward to it and congrats on the win and the belt. Thank you, sir. And from what I can see, that's your very first Americana victory is what they're chalking that up to. Is that, uh, is that extra special for you when you pull out a move that most people that we don't see finish in the UFC often? I don't know. I think uh, that was uh, this was uh, first time I make American in my pro, pro career, but I think that not last time. <laughs> so is that is that one of your favorite moves? Is that something that you practice in the gym all the time? Yes, uh, it's one of my favorite. Uh, why do Why do you think that is it your body size, the way that you're able to kind of control your opponent? Why does that work out so well for you? You think in training and and then obviously in the fight. Uh, you know, it's. Um, my body was changed uh, um, a lot because we a lot uh, work with my coach on training on ca- on our cardio, on um, our footwork. Uh, my coach make uh, for me a special diet. Uh, I lose uh, around uh, forty five uh, pounds and on the last three months, and I feel that I'm in the best shape in my career now. You but def- we just started this. So you could definitely tell. I mean, I, I was very jealous when I saw you at uh, weigh-in day. You could see the abs were starting to come <laughs> through. So you could tell you did lots of really good work. When you said earlier this was only 5%, were you talking about 5% of the game plan of what you set out for tonight or 5% of what you think you're capable of putting on out there in a, in a, in a fight? This was just 5% of 
our possibility uh, of of our skills, what we have, and because ev everybody know that I am a good uh, grappler, I am a good wrestler, but nobody don't see my striking, and I promise you that one day everybody will see my striking, and that will be a incredible. You could have showed it tonight. Why did why'd you go the route that you went tonight instead of maybe uh, stay, staying on your feet and, sh and showing us the striking? You know, my coach said that um, we, we will win on uh, wrestling and grappling so times uh, how, how many we can make this. If our wrestling or grappling doesn't work, we will show our striking. And again, you got a, you got an impressive victory, but the also the undefeated number just keeps going higher. At some point, does that add any extra pressure for you going forward into another fight when you're when you're taking opponents and any of that other sort of stuff? Does that even weigh on your mind, or is it always just constantly about improving yourself, aiming towards your goal of getting the belt and winning, or do you not even think about the possibility that at some day that O oh, might go, as they like to say? Um, that's sport, that's our life, and uh, I don't know. Um, I can finish my career with this O, oh, or this O oh, one day can change, but all in the uh, hands of the God. I just work in a gym, I just listen for my coach, and I try to make a big show in a cage for our uh, spectators. Now, this fight was supposed to take place last week. Yeah. And then there was like this mysterious illness or mysterious injury or something that that caused the fight to get delayed. What was explained to you as for why the fight couldn't go on last week? It's the same. Um, I, I was prepared on 100 uh, percent on the next uh, on the last uh, week. And I think in this shape for me, it doesn't matter uh, when will be my fight. I was ready and physically and mentality. So it wasn't tough for you to kind of stay, I don't want to say on weight, because you were so underweight anyways for the limit, so that wasn't a problem. But was it any sort of challenging to just stay in the fight-ready mode for an extra week? Yeah. I'm ready. Gotcha. And uh, I know you want to go for the title. I know you want to go for the belt. But as we can see by your brown belt, that's also another big journey that's very yeah. important to you. So which... I guess, journey would you like to see happen first? And which would mean more, you getting your black belt or getting a heavyweight uh, belt wrapped around you? For sure, I think that UFC belt is the biggest belt in my life will be. And um, if I will be UFC champion, I think the coach will give me black belt. <laughs> Congrats but if I will be black belt, nobody don't give me belt of the UFC. I, I, I need to win this belt. And I, one day I will win. Congratulations. Thank you. Question over here. Yep. Uh, you spent this fight camp preparing for Tanner Bowser. Just wondering if that's a fight that you eventually want to get back since you'd spent so much time focusing on him. Mm, w once again... Just asking, you were originally supposed to fight Tanner Bowser. Uh, you spent your time preparing for him for this week originally. Is that a fight that you're eventually going to want? Mm. I don't know. For me, it doesn't matter uh, who will be my next opening, but... Um, Really, I want somebody from top 15. Both are now not in the top 15. It's, I'm focused now on uh, Augusto Sakai, and this will be a very good fight. Thank you. Hey, Alex, <clears throat> just one back here. Yeah. Great call out of Augusto Sakai. That's going to be a great matchup. But I think you're being extremely humble with your skills and abilities in the UFC. Looking at that top 10, top 5, is there anybody that you see that would be the most challenging for you? Is there anyone that top echelon of fighters that you think would be the biggest challenge on your way up to the title? I think biggest challenge for this moment, it's um, Pavlovich and um, Aspinal. And I think 
Gain and Gano. Perfect. These Thank four tough guys now in uh, our division. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you.